What's up everybody, you got VPB Money Man here. I just wanna make a quick video about the Shelby GT350, an issue that I had with the car. Um, no, the car is not damaged. I have the front cover on because my dog tends to like to run through this area right here and I don't want her collar to scratch the front bumper. And my fiance, when she's going in the house, she likes to rest her pocketbook and miscellaneous items up here, even though we've gotten to it numerous times, I know she still does it. So I just put the car cover up there just to give me a little bit of peace of mind. But I wanna talk about a few things. Before we get into the video, like, subscribe. On this channel, we talk about money, we talk about finances, we talk about cars. I wanna talk about the issue that I had with the Shelby GT350 and I wanna talk about guys kind of insulting guys online saying that you know you're supposed to drive these type of cars they're not supposed to be and meant to be drive yeah uh, you know, like how they're not meant to be uh, garage queens. We're going to get into that. And I'm going to defend the guys that keep their cars in garages. And there's the daily right there. So we'll get into that in a second. But first, I just want to explain the issues that I have with the car. So I got a 2019, has the Recaro seats, has the Bang & Olsen sound system uh, right there. Has about 12,200 and something miles. Now, the issue I was having was I was sitting at, I was sitting at a, at a uh, red light. I went to go into first gear and the car rolled backwards because you should not be sitting at a light with your car in gear. I'm sure there's numerous channels that can explain that better why you're not supposed to do that. So I come out, you know, I, I do the whole little shindig and then I go back to do it and it rolls back again. And then I notice the backup cameras on. So. I clearly realized that something's malfunctioning because for you to go in reverse, you got to pull this up and go over. Now, once I realized that I was like, all right, this is going to be annoying as hell. This is stupid. I'm under warranty. I will put my warranty up my extended warranty, what I purchased right now. And I will also put up the paperwork of what they said was wrong with the car. Supposedly they had to drop something underneath and they had to change something, a bolt, whatever here. They had to drop something underneath. Now, 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 you know, it was a quick fix. They had my car for like a day and a half. And then they had the car back to me. But I was going over. It was just going right over into reverse without having to pull this lockout pin up. Now, let's get into the people who like to insult people because they have garage queens. Now, first of all, I want to say something. You never pay any attention to anybody that has an opinion about how you live your life. Opinions are free and they're like assholes. Everybody has one. It's easy for someone to tell you what you should be doing with your car when they don't do any of the maintenance, they don't do any of the wear and tear items, and they're not the one that paid for it. So, and a lot of times, these are young guys who have vlogging channels, video game channels, they live at home with their family, they live in apartments, they don't have real life uh, assets yet or liabilities. So their opinions really don't make a difference. I'm 42 years old, I've modded cars, I've had, you know, 10 second cars, 11 second cars, and you know, I've been down that road, so pay attention to none of these people. Now, why would I drive this every day to work? I'm a longshoreman. And a lot of those people that have those opinions, if you notice, they really don't have real men jobs. They're not firemen, they're not cops, they're not longshoremen, they're not landscapers construction. They're 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 usually guys who don't do manly jobs. So they can have these type of opinions because they're not getting dirty. Now I have a nail in that front tire. Uh, it broke off. I took it to the tire guy. He was like, it's fine. You're perfectly fine. Um, you know, eventually you may get a slow leak, but if you don't have one yet, who cares? Now, why would I drive this every day when I have this? I put the dog in here. I have dirty work gloves all in here. There's, there's hair um, up in here. Yeah, I have a pillow sometimes because, you know, I'll, you know, I'll rest my head, but... I'll rest my head right before my shift. Now, I have to commute 120 miles per day. I live down the Jersey Shore and I work in a tri-state area. So I have this on the front because I know eventually I'm going to hit a deer. I have, you know, I have door dings and door uh, scratches all on this because people on my job could care less. Everybody parks all crazy. It's easier for me to get into this. I smoke cigars every now and then. So this is my fun car. This is for when I'm dressed nice. We go out for ice cream. We go out for dinner. I might even take this to a wedding next weekend. 
And for some of you who want to know why the license plate says AUA 1042, AUA is the airport code for Aruba and 1042 is the 6 a.m. flight out of Newark Airport. So that's why I got that on the plate. Some of you may know I have real estate in Aruba, so that's why I got that on the plate. But and also guys telling guys what you should do with your car. Oh, you need to cut the resonators out. Oh, you need to mod it. Listen, I'm not modding this car. The only thing that was done with this car that that the, that the previous owner did was they put window tint on it. They put window tint on the side windows, back windows, and they put it on, you know, a strip on the front windshield and they colored in that Shelby thing on the front splitter where, you know, they, they put some white tape there. But other than that, this car is 100% stock. Now, just imagine I cut the resonators out of this car, right? I cut the resonators and, and then all of a sudden the dealership, cause we all know dealerships are scumbags. They come out and they say, well, you know, it's because you dropped the heat shield and you cut the resonators and you damaged some of the linkage. So you're not covered under warranty. Now I got to eat that. Someone's opinion ain't going to pay for that. I have to eat that. So this is why I'm not modding this car. When you get older, you just want peace of mind. You don't want to deal with all the drama. A lot of these young guys, they're still living in apartments. They're living with their parents. They're, they don't have girlfriends. They don't have wives. They don't have... I'm going to be honest, they don't have lives. All they do is play video games, make video content, vlog, and go to car meets. They're not doing anything else. They're not commuting to a nine to five. They're not commuting to any, you know, dirty job. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you start telling people what they should do with their car, you're not paying for the oil changes. You're not paying for, uh, you know, the uh, wear and tear. I have a nail in that tire, right? Imagine if I got a nail in that tire, a Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tire. You can't plug that. There's no patching that. I got to get a whole new tire, all right? I have to get a whole new tire for that. So why would I risk driving this car down to my job when I could take this one? It's more comfortable. I smoke a cigar every now and then in it. And I'm not worried about if someone backs into it or if someone hits it, right? So don't let people tell you what you should be doing with your car because a lot of times these are the same people that are modding the hell out of their shelby gt350s and when it comes time to sell it nobody's going to want to buy that shit because not only did you mod the hell out of it you documented it made a video of you modding it and beating the hell out of it if you are going to mod one of these you get one of these with high mileage one or two owners, if you're gonna be tearing into the motor and tearing into the headers and exhaust and putting turbos, you get one with high mileage. You don't get one with low mileage and beat the hell out of it and mod it and void warranties. Now, th this was just my opinion, but a lot of these people that tell people what they should be doing to their cars, it's because they cannot afford another daily that is paid off that, that they can drive back and forth. They either have a, a piece of crap junker that barely runs and then they have one really nice car, but they're trying to tell you what you should be doing. This is old faithful. This is gonna start up, I'm gonna go to work. You know, these Rams are proven. So why would I mod the hell out of this, void the warranty and make problems for myself? Don't let anybody tell you what you should be doing with your life. Your life is your life. Opinions are free. Everybody types them in the comment section, but there's no accountability for comments. Remember that. No regrets. Get it.